uh, state values. So we're going to do what we did on the previous slide here. We kind of talked about all the different shapes of these graphs, and, and now we're going to like do it. Okay, so state the values of the constants k and a. So 2 and negative 3 for right. that first one. K is our thing that's in front of our x, and, and a is our, our power. Right, right. so negative, it's negative 3. 3. Yep. Now, describe the portion of the curve that lies in quadrant 1 or quadrant 4. Well, that has to do with uh, the previous slide where we talked about those properties. Um, and so if, let's see, if k is positive, then the graph lies in quadrant 1. Hey, k is positive, the graph is going to be in quadrant 1. Okay, so we know it's going to be in quadrant 1, and it wants us to describe the portion of the curve that lies in quadrant 1. Well, now we need to know about a, because that will really help us figure that out. Okay, a is a negative, and those with negative exponents have asymptotes with both the x and the y axis. I have a great idea, Okay. quite possibly, what this is going to resemble. Okay. Should we draw? It's going to resemble. Oh, yeah. I yeah. Just drew it. Yeah. Totally first quadrant. Let's uh, rough it out. Rough it out. Okay. So, like, if I just care about the first quadrant. Yes, first quadrant if, only. If I have an asymptote that is right here on the x axis and, and right here on the y axis. Yes. And it gets closer and closer to those without ever touching them, then I've got this kind of a situation. That, hey, that was exactly what I was going to draw. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yes, it was. Okay. That's amazing. So, um, determine whether f is even, odd, or undefined for x is less than zero. So, if we're plugging in negative numbers now, mm -hmm. then is it even, odd, or undefined? So, basically, we need to kind of extend this graph, which I should have drawn it over some. We need to figure out what's going on over here where it's less than zero. I think it'll be more of the same. It, it should be, except it should be down here in the third bottom, quadrant. bottom right. Can we draw a mini? Draw a mini. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Just uh, just barely got it in there. Okay. And so, um, basically, with, with these types of functions, where this is really like 2 over x cubed, right? Yeah. With any of those types of functions, oh, if we draw up here in the top right, if it's in the first quadrant, it will also be in the third quadrant because of the fact that it, you know, is a, is a reciprocal graph kind of situation. Right, and a negative, and, a, and that three cubes, so that, like that negative value in becomes a negative value out on the yes. cube. Yes, yeah, yeah. If I were to, like the other way we've talked about even and odd is if I plug in a negative x, what happens? So if I plug in a negative x, hey, guess what? That makes what I had before... Completely 100% opposite of what you started with, which makes it an odd, odd function. Yeah, odd. It is definitely odd. Um, and so th these choices are either it's even, it's odd, or it could be undefined. It Perhaps might be. It could be. You might have read that incorrectly at first. I know I did. But either it's even, the function itself is even, it's odd, or it could be undefined over depending on the left on, side, yes. depending on what it is. Right. Um, describe the rest of the curve, if any. Graph the we, function to see whether it matches the description. You know what? I think we did that, and we described it. So I think we're okay. Yeah. So, um, I mean, you'd be better off having a, a, a graph of the whole thing. A little I bit guess. bigger graph. Yeah, that would have been nice. But, yeah. oh well. So That's next. what they're wanting us to do. Uh, next up is uh, negative 0.4 x to the 1.5 power. Youch. Okay, so let's just start off right off the bat. K is negative 0.4. K is negative 0.4. And A? 1.5. 1.5. Oh, yeah, I'm all over those. Okay, now describe the portion of the curve that lies in quadrant 1 or quadrant 4. To the previous slide we go. Well, k is negative, which means the graph lies in quadrant four. Quadrant four. And a is positive, which means that the uh, graph passes through zero, zero. Oh. So should we talk perhaps about, like, what does 1.5 even mean as an exponent? Yeah, we should probably bring that up real quick. 1.5 is actually three halves. Right. And, uh, you know, we're going to talk about this a lot later, and I mean quite a significant amount at some point in time. We're going to really dig into it, but it's power over root. So if we have x to the 3 halves power, uh, the power part is the 3, the root is 2. So we're saying this is the square root of x cubed. That is 100% exactly what I'm saying. Okay. So that that's weird. That um, is weird. But you know what I can you like? know what I learned from that right off the bat? What? 
uh, we're not going to have anything to the left of the y-axis. Which is something they're going to ask us here in a second. But oh, no, no matter what, if, we, if I plug in a negative here, I cube it, and it's still negative, and then I try to square root it, but that's imaginary. So you're, you're absolutely right. That is what's going to happen. So we, first, let's talk about, okay, we said it'd be in the fourth quadrant. It has to pass through 0, 0. Okay, and so it's basically going to look kind of like a square root function, I would say, wouldn't you? Yeah, probably going to look like square rootish. Uh -huh. Maybe you should go and graph this one so we can make sure that. Uh, let me okay. just double check. Because it does ask us to graph the function to see whether it matches the description. Incidentally, the book likes to do this thing where it says support graphically. What that's asking you to do is graph it on your calculator, check to see if you did it right. If not, you need to go back and figure out what you did wrong. It also likes to call your graphing calculator a, a grapher. A what? Little, That's ridiculous. A little different shape. A little bit different shape. Just a slight skosh different. And the reason we're not showing you the graphs for this particular problem is because we're asking you to find them, which is what we're doing as well. Right. And hey, we checked it on our calculator and Realized we had a, realized a little we had a, incident a little, there. A little, uh, little whoopsie, but okay. that's okay. Nothing we can't we, recover from. We learned. Now we, we did. know what's going on there. Um, so the portion of the curve that lies in quadrant one or quadrant four. So we got that. We got that. And then determine whether f is even, odd, or undefined. And we already said that, hey, it's undefined for those negative values. Yep. Can't do it if can't do it. Yeah, and since it's undefined for those values, this is the whole graph right That's here. the whole thing. That's it. That's it. Uh, last, negative x to the fourth. Negative x to the point four, I believe, point four. Is it really? That is really a point four. I can't four. tell. Well, okay. it's hard to see, okay. but that's what it is. So k would be? Negative one. Okay, and then mm. a would be? Uh, point four. Okay, and what is point four if we wanted to change it to a fraction? If we wanted to look at that as a fraction, it would be two-fifths, I believe. Right, because it's four-tenths. Four-tenths, yep. All right, so. Uh, now, quick recap. Uh, we're talking about x to the uh, squared, x squared. Right. Fifth rooted. So, uh, so fifth rooted. Fifth rooted x, x squared. squared. Uh, can I take a fifth root of anything? Uh, yes. Of, of yes, something. I can. Of, oh, yes, of anything. Yeah. Any number you get, yes, you can take a, a fifth root of anything. I can fifth root a negative. Any odd root is fine. Yes. Yeah, so 100% like, fine. You're, you're spoiling it, but we're oh, not going to be. It. Not going to be undefined for x is less than zero. You know, I think I figured out on this previous one, like how I was trying to think while we were doing this, how would I know that from three halves this looks more like a parabola than a square root? Because uh, if the number on top is bigger, mm -hmm. then it's going to look kind of like a parabola. Right. But here, the number on top is not bigger, so this is good. This should look more, more like a square root. More square graph. rootish. I agree. Okay. I'll double check while okay. you're explaining. So k is negative, which means it lies in the fourth quadrant, and a is positive, so it passes through zero, zero. So we draw our x and our y, and it's gonna pass through zero, zero. Um, it's gonna pass through zero, zero. It's in quadrant four. I said it was gonna look like a square root, so. So go, go big or go home. Hey, quick check on our answer. Okay. And yes, okay. Mrs. So Stevenson did not look first. I didn't look before, it was tempting. Okay, this is the basic idea of what our graph looks like. Uh, and then it asks us to determine whether f is even, odd, or undefined. We already talked about it's not undefined because we're allowed to plug anything in. Another thing, if I plug in negatives here, they get squared away. Oh, and they so become positive. They become positive. So even if it was an even power, it wouldn't be an issue. But we have to decide, is this an even or an odd function? So let's plug in a, a negative x, shall we? What do you think? Okay. Okay. All right. What happens if I plug in a negative x? We you kind get of a positive x. We out. get a positive. You just said that. I just said that. Why did I repeat myself? I don't know. Why did you repeat yourself? Hush. Okay. So we get the same thing we started with. That means even. this is even. It's even. If it's even, I know that it's symmetric about the y-axis. So what I have drawn there on the goes. right Look side, there. Bam. I need to draw on the left side. That's really good. Thank you. Yeah. I like the left side better than the right side. I agree, but that's really good anyway. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So there we go. That's uh, it. Hey. Ta-da. Finished. Okay. Dunsies.